Let's welcome now Johnny Weir. What a difference a year makes at the national championships as Johnny Weir is taking the ice right now. Your top three, Gables, Joubert, and Sandu. So here's the other American to round things out. Johnny Weir, 20 years of age from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Newark, Delaware. That's where he trains. The 2001 World Junior Champ, but uh, his calling card, U.S. National Champ on the senior level last season. We saw it last year. We're seeing it now. How long he takes to take his place on the ice. Nothing seems to rush him. Nothing seems to disturb him. You see a trend in costumes this year already, oh, Mr. Button? I see an awful lot of napkins and <laughs> things on, on clothes. one into the triple lutz. Dick, do you see a difference in the programs in this first event, even though the traditional system's being used here? The new scoring system will be used throughout the Grand Prix, and a number of skaters and their coaches have talked about adjusting because of that. I think there are changes. There are more difficult entrances, more unusual things, not so much plain skating back and forth into just another triple jump. Oh, look at that one. It popped out. A triple axle just popped right out. He's a smooth skater, very steady, and usually has marvelous control. Circular footwork that was not particularly dramatic, I don't think, or inspiring. In fact, this whole program seems to be a little bit of a downer. It flows nicely, but there's not a lot of excitement to it at this point. the revolution way at the peak of the jump that's the way it should be done oh popped off the toe pit there body was not in the right balance or the right level to be able to take that toe pick and use it as a pole vault
Johnny spent much of the summer training in Connecticut. Tatiana Tarasova. The mistakes may cost him the title. Tim Gable, your current leader, but uh, the young American trying to oust him from the top of the leaderboard right now. Not sure he's going to get there, Dick. Well, you know, it was very laid-back music. It was a very laid-back program. He's a quiet skater. It did not stand out. It didn't grab you, and I don't think it really sustained your interest as much as it should have. He's a very smooth skater, very, very clean lines and solid edges. Watch as he steps up into this triple axle right there. Doesn't get good enough height, is leaning very heavily, and, but is able to save the landing, and then, of course, just does a double toe loop. Not his best. And on this, a triple flip. Watch him turn, step to the back edge, tap, and again, that foot almost flips off where he's toe-picking into John the Lear ice, for and it just not uh, leads to anything. Five, three, four, can he challenge five, Gable? Zero, five, First two, set and five, for Weir. 5-0 to 5-4. I think there were too many mistakes, four, too many mistakes in the technical merit. He just uh, five, six, missed too many things. Five, six, five, three, Second set five, for presentation, 5-3 five, five, to 5-6. Five, five, certainly not going to do it with those. And Johnny Weir all the way down in fourth place. So he's behind Emmanuel Sandu. It's Tim Gable who ends up winning.